Hello, this is Jason Ledbetter with the Sunfrog Academy, and in this training video, you're going to learn how to save your audience. Now, there's a lot of good reasons why you would want to save your audience in the Facebook Ads Manager. So, number one, when you save your audience, it just saves time. You spend all this time researching your audience, doing interest research, and building up these audiences. And it makes a lot of sense to save them so you can use them over and over again without having to always re-enter the information into your ads manager. So once you build this interest list and these demographics, it's easy just to save this profile of your demographics and interests. And anytime you want to run a ad to that market, to that niche market, you just go to the saved audience and deploy it and it's ready to go. It also allows for fast split testing. So as you start to do Facebook advertisements, you're going to want to split test different audiences and interests in different groups of people to see which group performs the best. And to do that, you have to split test a bunch of different things. So when you have all these different audiences saved, it's a lot easier for you to go in there and launch a new Facebook advertisement to another segment or a new group of people because you have all these audiences already saved. And it also helps you scale your ad campaigns. Once you start getting a winning campaign going and you want to scale that advertisement, you have to start adding new audiences and new groups of people to see your ads. So when you have all these saved audiences, it's easy just to add these new groups into your advertisements so new people can see your product that you're promoting. So now let's go over the shoulder and I'm going to show you how easy it is to save your audience in your Facebook Ads Manager. Okay, we're here in the Ads Manager and we're just going to come up to Create Ad. So we're going to start the process of actually creating the ad. So I'll just click Increase Conversions on your website, the Website Conversion Objective. And we're just coming down here to the Audience section. So this is the Audience section. It's where you select your custom audiences, your location, age, demographics, and detailed targeting. So let's just say that we had a bunch of interest for the cat market. So I love cats. We love cats. Love cats. Cat lovers. I love I love my kitty cat. So these are all precise interests and let's just say that we spent a lot of time building out this precise interest list. Now all we would have to do is come right here to save this audience and we can name the precise community cat interests. And I'll get into the whole community while I'm naming it that, but these are precise interests. So I can name this precise community cat interest save. Now the cool thing is anytime I come back to run an ad to the cat market, I can come up here to use a saved audience and I can click on precise cat community and it's going to automatically load all of those interests that I had in that saved audience. And this is true if I change the age or gender or location, all of this would preload in my precise community cat interests. So that's how easy it is to save your audience inside the ads manager. Now if we come back up to the menu and go to audience insights, which is a free tool by Facebook to dig more in your demographics and we also have training videos here on the academy over your audience insights. But if you're in audience insights and you are building your interest group here, you can also come up here and save an interest group here. So if you save the group here, it's also going to appear in your ads manager. So under use a saved audience, for example, the nurse association precise interest group here, I actually built that in audience insights. So you can save these audiences in your ads manager, which is here or you can save these audiences in your audience insights by just clicking save and then you name your audience and you can save it in the audience insights too. And that is how easy it is to save your audience in the Facebook ads manager or in the audience insights tool. Now I want to dig a little deeper here and depending on your experience level with Facebook advertising, you may not quite understand some of these audiences we're going to go over and that's okay because we have other training videos here on the Academy where we go over how to create all these audiences. However, if you're more experienced with Facebook advertisements, you may already understand this terminology. And once you learn it, you can always come back to this guide here 
after you take the other training. But these are just the type of audiences that I recommend you save. You can save an audience of view content, so anyone that clicks through to view your content. You can create a lookalike audience of view content, and then you can save that audience. So if you don't know what lookalike audience is, don't worry, because we have a training video here on the Academy that covers lookalike audiences. But just know that you can create a lookalike audience of people that viewed your content. You can tell Facebook, hey, I want to find other people on Facebook that are like these people here that actually viewed our content. And you can create up to five different audiences, one, two, three, five, and 10%. And each one of these audiences are a little bit bigger. And we'll go into detail on the lookalikes in that lookalike training video if you do not know what a lookalike audience is. You can save your add to cart audience, add to cart lookalike audiences, purchase, purchase lookalike, uh, fans of your fan page, fans lookalike, friends of fans, and friends of fans lookalike, niche buyers. So let's just say that you sold 500 nurse t-shirts. You can save that audience, and you can also create a lookalike audience of those nurse buyers. Clickers, niche clickers lookalike audience, and you can save your retargeting. And I also recommend that you save your precise interests and broad interests. And if you're not aware of precise and broad, go watch the difference between precise and broad interest targeting video. It's really good and it shows you the difference between precise and broad targeting and why you should target and when you should target precise or broad. But depending on what you're selling, here's a list of universal ideas for interest groups. So we have what I like to call buy-in intent interest groups, and those are like magazines, online subscriptions, niche coupon websites, niche keywords, associations. So basically you can save these groups. So if you have a big group of magazine interests, you can save those in your ads manager. And then anytime you want to target this magazine group, you already have the magazine saved. Same goes for community interests. In this example, I saved a community precise interest and that's because I was going after the I love cats so you can do I love niche and any of these community type interests I recommend you save them in a group and once again we go over all these interest types just watch the interest training videos and we have authority interests you can save all these in a group education you can save all these in a group and Anytime you're ready to run an ad and you want to target your education niche group, you'll already have all those interests saved. If you want to target and split test authority interests for that niche, you'll already have those saved. Community interests and buyer's intent interests. So if we're targeting nurses with our nurse shirt, we can go after these buying intent interests. We can go after these community. We can go after these authority education and since we have all these groups saved if you do the research up front and then you save all these groups it's very easy to scale your campaigns to split test your campaigns with all these different groups so I hope that makes sense if some of it doesn't make sense just go watch all the other lookalike videos retargeting videos broad and precise interest videos and all this will start to make sense However, in this video, you have learned how to save your audience in the Facebook Ads Manager and the Audience Insights Facebook tool. And you've also learned examples of different type of audiences that you can save.